Stan Weber for uscfootball.com with our uh, post-game uh, USC Cal instant analysis. And we're trying to take a look. Kind of interesting. Uh, uh, Cal actually outgained USC in this game. This shows how kind of a weird, odd game uh, where the score doesn't always match everything. Uh, a 30 to 9 score, and then USC uh, is outgained 329 yards to 313. Uh, both teams had 18 first downs. The difference, and USC knows this too well. Uh, Trojans uh, came away with five turnovers, uh, three picks, and uh, two uh, fumble recoveries, and uh, that changes everything. So uh, this kind of had uh, kind of reminded you of an old time USC win. These are the kind of games that uh, Pete Carroll's early teams used to win. Well, they maybe you know didn't they weren't hitting on all cylinders offensively, but they uh, they just made you know one play after another on defense. Uh, they they backed off a little bit at times, but uh, when they were coming and when they were playing, they were um, they were alert to the football. They were they were able to separate Cal from the football. One of the things you notice is because Cal plays uh, that similar offense uh, to USC's, they just feel so comfortable this defense playing against Cal. A guy like Chris Calippo, for example, just said, I said, wouldn't you like to play them every week? And he said, seriously, he just seems to know where the ball's going. They're very comfortable. Uh, Cal, for example, wasn't uh, just running quick underneath stuff. Cal likes to run uh, uh, drop back passes and they like to run a little bit uh, longer developing, uh, you know, plays. And what that does is that gives the USC fr uh, defensive front a chance to get to the football and get to the quarterback and it basically gives them a couple of more steps and you know Wes Horton was saying uh, if we could only you know have this kind of a situation they think they can beat their guys you know man on man and uh, they really pressured uh, Zach Maynard tonight and I thought uh, you know again made him throw the ball away made him throw it when he didn't want to uh, but uh, I think Lane Kiffin said it best he said if we had to win a game this is the way I'd like to win it on defense, with our defense showing up, making plays, uh, making the, you know, even if the offense looks like it was a little bit in slow motion, a little bit out of sync, Matt uh, Barkley said, I played all right, but not good enough to beat a good team. So uh, in terms of the injury, this is the biggest injury game of the year. Uh, Marquise Lee's got a uh, sprained shoulder, thinks he, at first he said, I don't know if I'll practice Sunday, then he said he thinks he will. Mark Tyler has got a dislocated shoulder. They popped his shoulder back in on the sidelines. He said, uh, they distracted me, and then they popped it back in. He said, I've never had one. He said, it doesn't feel very good. He's not sure if he's going to be able to play next week or not. Um, Demetrius Wright had a contusion on his lower leg. He's not a heavy on crutches, but he's not sure um, what his situation is going to be. But, uh, but Marquise thinks he's... Uh, He's going to be okay. He thinks he'll be able to play. He's the, I think, at, at this point in time, he's the real, the real key uh, for next week. Uh, so uh, that probably, uh, you know, gets USC to five and one. As, as uh, Lane said, it's the first time he's been five and one, and it uh, gets them, you know, to the. They've got an extra couple of days to get ready for Notre Dame, and, and I think uh, Mark Tyler was absolutely correct when he said. We have to become more physical on offense. We've got to be able to meet uh, uh, we have to meet the challenge a little better than we did tonight. He said he didn't think the offense stepped up physically enough. Uh, Talked to George Farmer. He he was happy as heck that he got you know got to play, got the jitters out. Couldn't believe he was in on that goal line right away early and got the football. Uh, thought he had had you know pretty decent effort and then he fumbles on the last. Uh, uh, second last carry and uh, so he said I've got to get got to get you know figure that out and make make sure that doesn't happen again but he was very happy uh, that he got to play as much as he did tonight now for uscfootball.com Trojans go to five and one here at Cal they got another road game next week another night game road game uh, be a, probably a lot chillier than it was here tonight uh, for uscfootball.com this Dan Weber